There's quite a stiff breeze blowing at this wind farm near the town of Husum. Wind force five, to be precise. It's 200 rungs to the top. Olaf Dow Schmidt and Henning Friedrichsen have to make the arduous climb up to four times a day. It's their job to service these wind turbines. Today they're working 70 meters up. Sometimes they have to climb 100 meters off the ground. If visibility is good, they can even see the North Sea from here. If you do it four times a day, you don't bother looking down from the fourth generator. It's routine, but it's always nice to admire the scenery. Some people would pay money for this, but it's our job. Wind farm owners commission their firm to perform regular checks. A malfunctioning wind turbine can be a costly affair. Here, there are slight signs of soot on the hydraulic fuse. We can slow the machine down, we can activate various fan motors, and we can turn the machine room to face the wind to carry out these acoustic checks. Wind is an important economic factor here in North Frisia. Almost 50% of commercial taxes raised here come from businesses linked to the wind power industry. There's also a light breeze here in the local harbour. With a population of 22,000, Husum is North Frisia's biggest town. It's also home to a cluster of wind energy companies. This cooling breeze is most welcome at Windkraft Nord. Planning new wind farms involves not just deciding on the depth of the foundations and the height of the turbines, but also the financing side. Wind farms typically cost about 35 million euros. The company often works together with other local firms. It ranges from caterers to cable suppliers. They all come from the region. There's a very close network of businesses that's not so apparent from the outside. I'd say there are only a few firms in Husum that aren't directly or indirectly involved with the wind energy business. The wind has to reach force three speeds to make business profitable for Danish turbine builder Vestas. The world's number one has its European headquarters and its service supply center in Husum. Vestas came to Husum in the 1980s when farmers were just beginning to erect their own wind turbines. The industry is now worth a billion euros a year, but there's a shortage of qualified personnel. We've been trying to tempt researchers, engineers, commercial staff to come up north to get them interested. But the people living down south say it's too far away and there's not enough going on up here. This privately run center in Husum is filling some of the gaps in the market. Its business is to train service engineers. These trainees have just started. First of all, they have to prove that they've got a head for heights. More than 1,000 service technicians have already completed a course here. It's wind force four, and the structure is moving. But they have to look down. Do you feel dizzy? No, I've been all right so far. You're not bothered about looking down? No, it doesn't bother me. The trainees are already qualified engineers. Within six months, they'll be equipped to work on wind turbines anywhere in the world. All the young people going into this industry are guaranteed a future. So are we.
The trainees have good prospects. Their course is internationally recognized and wind power is a global growth industry. A qualification gained here in Husum can be a passport to a job in Canada, the United States or even China.